Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Lynx app and use it. First of all, you have to go to linksware.org downloads and download the executable file for your system Linux, Windows and for Apple is still in development. After the download, you have to extract the executable file, extract here and here we can start the app and it opens on my second screen here it is and one thing you will see after you start the links app it creates here a folder with the memory for layouts setup theme and all the other stuff first let's have a look a quick overview here we have the home button these are all the keys that uh, on the cat so this is the left side and this is the right side here we can select the layouts here we can switch between the layers here sub layer so here minor and here minor sub let's go back to major and with this button we can send the selected layouts to the cat here you will find the help page with the version of the app and couple links then here we have the theme so we can switch to a bright theme it looks like this we can also select colors here and then change it for example background then GUI text um, cat button and here the standard buttons so now let's go back to a theme dark theme here are the preferences so here we can select what should be displayed on the buttons so here the top one is the button name or key name then the actual function and here we have the description and here we can create new layouts for example we're choosing the layer major and say test major save and here we have the new created layout major test or test major and it's all here completely empty another way to create a layout would be go here into the links app memory then layouts um, major and let's say here major test uh, no we don't want to cancel um, Steuerung copy, Steuerung V. Now we have copied it and now it's also here. So if you want to change the standard layout, for example, the Lynx Engram, which is based on Engram layout, so you would copy it and then play around. So now let's go back and delete it so we don't need it anymore and go back here and the same way we would create a layout for the minor let's see a test minor save new layout go back select here the minor layer and here is a new created test minor now let's have a look how to assign key functions first i'm going to select here as well test major and first assignment that you want to make is the switches between layers so that will be main sub safe and that will be major minor safe so you don't have to put it on here but that's where i like to have it you could put it anywhere you want and you should put these triggers on the same spots on all layouts so now go to sub and say also main sub and here major minor so it's easier to switch back so it's always in the same spot and again if you go to minor do the same here main sub and major minor and will be much easier and sub again and here the same now let's go back to major and have a look how to assign a function so let's take the index finger one so on top here 
uh, the letters, then the numbers, keypad numbers, keypad um, functions, characters, then um, what is it? Function keys like space, tab. Here are the modifiers, function keys. Here are the mouse functions like left, right click, middle click, and scroll. And these are the cat functions. So a gyroscope trigger and none. So none is basically a key that has no function. So we're going to select A, then save. Now I'm going to click update. And one thing, so now my mouse keys are gone. So I have to use my mouse to assign everything else. First, let's open a text editor and check if, yeah, so A has been assigned to the index finger one on the left side and all the other buttons have no functions. And now let's make another test. For example, we're going to save a shortcut, which will be here left control S and here save. Well, save, save again, update and press the index finger too. Yeah, it's going to save. Also, you can see here that I've changed the description and now it's here save. So you can go to preferences, for example, deselect all that, go here. Now you have only the description or only the function. Now we're going to assign a function to the sub layout. Again, I'm going to use the index finger one and I'm going to assign the number three, save, update. And now if I'm pressing the index finger one, it's A. And if I'm pressing the key here, main sub, I'm switching to the layout, sub layout. You can see it on the cat, the LED is going to be red. So this is the main, this is the sub. And now it's three. Also, I can just hold it. So now I'm in major main, it's an A. I'm holding the main sub at its three. I'm releasing it, it's back to A. Now let's have a look at all the modules. So here we have the scroll wheel. So here we can assign scroll up and here scroll down. And here, this is a factor. For example, one, one step on the scroll wheel is going to be one, or it can trigger something like five and you have to press enter now if i'm moving the scroll wheel one step in actual it will move it five steps here we have the mouse so we can turn it off so turn it off update so now i'm moving well i have to make it on the right layout here off update so now i'm moving the cat and it's not working on update and it's working again here we can change the speed so making a little bit slower update and it's yeah oh now it's gone yeah now it's back so the mouse module is pretty straightforward on off and here we can change the vertical speed and here the horizontal speed and this is the gyroscope module so here I can turn it off so it's constantly on or I can use here the gyro trigger save it's only working if I'm pressing the gyro trigger here I can switch between relative and absolute and this is a dead zone of the gyroscope then I can add a mouse or two so it's going to be for example here I can press something like control or shift and it's working together with the mouse here I can mirror the mouse movements and here this is the speed of the mouse if I'm using the gyroscope now let's have a look at the last module the joystick module so we're going to close the app 
connect it to the joystick device start the app again and it opens again on the second screen and here we have the joystick module with the buttons so first here you can switch between the steps so now if i'm moving joystick forward so it triggers only one event and if it like this you have two events so first it triggers that one and then if you go forward to the joystick it triggers that event and you can assign the events the same as a standard key so now you can press for example w save like going forward or something like so here would be w and here would be shift w save so if i'm pressing the joystick forward just a little bit it would just going in a game and if you press it completely to the end it will run so let's disconnect it close disconnect the plastic variant let's go back to our and start and it opens again on the second screen and here is uh, up again now let's have a look at the layout design so this is my design this is how i like it but you can came up with your own stuff so on the thumbs i have all the what is it modifiers and function keys and here i have my mouse keys like left and right here i have my letters on the fingers and on the sub i have my numbers and special characters and here on minor so it's reserved for special shortcuts or maybe another language so if you speak two languages you can have english on major and japanese on minor or something like that but i will show in another video how to make the languages so hell go to tutorials here on linksware.org tutorials here will add another video on how to create a language for here preference here you can then select another language so i think that's almost it for the links app just one thing when you're creating your layout i would advise you then save it somewhere else so this folder so let's say you have created your layout for your standard use or for a game then save it somewhere on the hard drive this folder because if you have a look here we have created this other layouts and now if i'm closing it and delete it go back then so delete that delete the memory now open the app again so it creates a new memory and all the layouts that were created before are gone and here as well and maybe one more thing let's update and here again just have a look on the layout maybe that will help to imagine it so major mine uh, major main is the top then major sub then minor main and minor sub so that would be a visual representation of layers and if you have any questions or something is not working or not clear just go to help contact and send me a message or join a group so bye bye